Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have some new sugar drizzle goodies that we are going to try out today. Um, actually, they had a launch just, I think about an hour or two ago as I'm sitting down to film this video, but they launched... I believe there are six or eight, no, they launched four, five, six, six different multi-chrome duo-sided sticks, eyeshadow sticks. So one side is going to be like a highlighter side, and then the opposite side is going to be a darker side um, that you'll use primarily on the lid. But I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can integrate these into your everyday I look and in some cases this is all you need you just need one stick one and done and that'll be the t uh, the complete eye look uh, over at Trader Drizzle they also dropped these four new liquid lipsticks these are multi chrome liquid lipsticks I cannot wait to try some of these out I am wearing a full face pretty much of one size beauty uh, makeup right now I haven't applied any mascara yet but I'm going to be using the one size fantasize mascara in today's video I cannot wait to try these lippies out I'll probably change into the lippies we'll do that swatch portion towards the end of the video I am excited about these multi-chrome duo sticks the multi-chrome duo sticks they do retail for $21 no I'm sorry these retail for $12. The liquid lipsticks are $21 and you can use my affiliate code STEF10 and that will give you 10% off of your order. Anything you want to buy over there on the Sugar Drizzle website. If you guys want to see these new goodies from Sugar Drizzle in action, keep on watching. All right, so I did pull out a couple palettes just in case um, I want to do like a look where I use perhaps some of these duo sticks maybe as eyeliners or as an inner corner highlight, a brow bo bone highlight, or maybe just something at, on the lower lash line. So I might be dipping into the mattes palette. Keep in mind some of these may or may not be in stock right now, but this has been a really nice purple and blue uh, all matte palette. One of my favorites is this butterfly palette. And this is what it looks like. I think this one is in stock right now. And then I believe this one, Dragonfly Warrior Palette. Love it. It has the black. I definitely want to try laying the black down and then doing one of these multi-chrome sticks on top of it and just see what kind of an effect we can get. But I think all three of these palettes are in stock on the Sugar Drizzle website. So I want to just start with something really simple first. I've already primed my eyelids with, of course, the Sugar Drizzle eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to pick any random one. So this one right here, um, it has this little sticker right here. This this one is called humming so the dark side would be humming and then bird is going to be the lighter side and if you saw my youtube short and instagram reel then you saw the swatches and i will have that video linked uh, in the description box or in a pinned comment um, to this video since i'm not doing any like arm swatches or anything in today's video i've already done that in that other video and you can go check that out it's only a minute long and you can pause as necessary so we are going to start with this side right here. This is the hummingbird side. And I'm just going to apply this like if I'm going to use it as an all over eyeshadow. And then I'm going to get a little blending brush just to blend it out with. Now, I'll be honest, I don't always reach for these type this type of a product like a crayon eyeshadow, I guess. But I do use these types of products more like for eyeliners or in the lower waterline. So we'll see. We're going to try them different ways. I just want to have a nice coating on there. So this is like a blue to purple flip to it. Just want to make sure I got some good payoff there. I'm going to go in, let's see which brush is clean. I'm going to go in with my Refer 13, and I'm just going to kind of blend that into the crease, kind of just give it some shape. But if you're looking for something quick, no fuss, no muss, you're not going to get any fallout from these because they are a cream formula, and this is blending really, really easily. 
This might be something that is right up your alley, especially if you have a limited amount of time in the morning to get ready for work. Um, this might be something that's going to really save you. Uh, the next side I'm going to go in with is this white side. This one's called Bird, and I'm going to focus that down here. I'm using a BK209, and I'm just going to use that to kind of just blend it a little bit better. That way it's not too intense. And I'm going to use another one, another shade for the rest of the lower lash line. Like I feel like I need to pick up a little bit more right in there. Now I think I'm going to go in with, it's kind of hard to tell because they have all of these different shifts to them. I'm going to go in with this one right here. This one is called Rattle Snake. So Rattle is going to be this green. And I'm going to focus that down here. I'm also going to apply that to the waterline. I don't think this is a bad price either. 12 bucks, and you're getting two different shades. I think that's, I think that's pretty decent. I'm going to go in with that same little uh, BK209. I'm just going to kind of use it to smudge this out a little bit. Did a little wing there, but it's as simple as that. I want to see what the opposite side of rattlesnake looks like. So here is the snake side. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on the back of my hand and I'm going to pick it up with my finger and I'm going to tap it right in here, the center, quick and easy. And just adds a little bit more dimension. Again, no fuss, no muss, no fallout, just quick and simple. And really, guys, I mean, if you only want to try one to start, and then if you like them, go back for the other ones. But look at how quick and easy it was to do this look. I'm going to add uh, some mascara, maybe a little tight line uh, to the top lash line, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number one. So here we go with the completed look number one, strictly using just these duo or these multi-chrome duo sticks. This look was so easy to create. Seriously, no fuss, no muss. I mean, get yourself a little blending brush, which I'm sure a lot of you have, and maybe a smaller little detail brush just to kind of blend out the lower lash line a bit, and you're done. Add some mascara. I tight line with this really cute sugar drizzle eyeliner. Um, I think this is in stock right now, but how cute is this for summertime? It's just a black liquid liner. And this is the look. So easy, so fun. You can reserve these just for eyeliners. That's typically how I like to use products like this. But then you can go to town and use them the way they were meant to be used as traditional shadow sticks. Let's move over to the left eye. And I'm going to incorporate some pressed shadows, some matte shadows. And then I'm going to try and applying these uh, duo sticks on top of them. Okay, so I told you guys I wanted to see how this is going to look over black. So I'm going to go in with this sh uh, shade right here. This is from the Dragonfly Warrior palette. It's called Grace. And for this shadow, I'm using a Game Beauty E03. I'm kind of curious to even use one of the multi-chrome liquid lipsticks on the eyes. I don't know if it says that you can do that or not, but I'm thinking I want to try it. I actually think I want to try it right now. <laughs> Maybe we can do a little half and half just to see. I don't know if it's something that might crease. I'm going to go in with that um, Ruffer 13 I was using earlier just to kind of blend this out a little bit. Um, I do know that when I was swatching these yesterday, there were two of those liquid lipsticks in particular that just didn't want to come off. So they definitely have stain power. Um, and they're definitely something that you can wear on their own. Or it's definitely something that's um, that you can layer with. You know, have more of a traditional shade underneath. And then have that fun um, pop of like a glossy 
multi-chrome lipstick on top. I think we got a good good little blend there. I think we got exactly what, what we need to do what we're going to do next, which I really don't even know what I'm doing next. Guys, if it is one of the very first videos that you watch of mine, first of all, hello and welcome. Thank you for being here. But I totally wing my videos. Like I never know what I'm going to say or what looks I'm going to do until I sit down to do them. So I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> That's how products are going to work. So I'm going to reach for another one of the duo sticks. This one is called uh, Silk Warm. So this is the silk side. This is going to be more of like a pink green gold flip to it. And then the opposite side is uh, warm. Yeah, put it back here. Oh yeah, that has more of like a purple. Okay, so I did want to use or try one of the liquid lipsticks. I'm thinking maybe this one right here. This one is in the shade Burnt Rose. Let me see what that looks like next to these two shades. This is really dark. Yeah, this is one of the ones that didn't want to come off or perhaps mystical berry i think mystical berry yeah mystical berry the one on this side let's try that one i'm gonna try that one over here and then i'll use my brush to blend it out is that bk209 again i don't know how this is gonna work these are lipsticks, but we're just going to try it and see what happens. I do have like a little cut right here. If it looks like the shadow isn't laying correctly, correctly, or it looks a little funny, that's why. Ignore it. Hopefully it goes away soon. Okay. So that was the liquid lipstick. Um, let me go into, where is it? Silk Warm. Where did I put it? Yeah, over here. So I'm going to go in with the silk side. I'm just going to do that here. Very similar to one another. Now I'm going to go in with that Ruffer 13 and just use to blend. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the opposite side. This is the warm side. Warm as in the insect. Now I'm gonna go in with grasshopper. Did I just use grasshopper? Did I use that over here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's different. That's different than the one I have over here. I'm going to try using this side, the hopper side, in the waterline. I'm going to add a little bit more of the liquid lipstick right out here. My BK209, just to blend. Very easy to work with. They're very easy to blend out. They're pretty much mistake proof. You just kind of have to get some ideas as to what you want to do. But really guys, use them as they're intended to be used as a shadow stick. Um, apply it to the lid and then get yourself, like what I'm doing right now, a little blending brush just to blend and shape. And that's it. I'm going to go add, again, finishing little touches. I'll be right back to show you this completed look number two, and then we're going to do the final third look. So here's the completed look number two. We did lay down the matte black shadow, and then we did the liquid lipstick on the outer corner, and then the shadow stick for the inner portion of the lid, as well as the lower lash line, inner corner, and the lower waterline. I like the way this look turned out. Quick and easy. No fuss, no muss. And even the liquid lipsticks are working great on the lid. Again, I don't know if they're intended to be used that way, but 
experiment, see what works for you. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. So I'm going to remove this look. I'll be right back. And then we have two more duo sticks that I need to try out. And then I'm going to lip swatch all four of the liquid multi-chrome lipsticks. All right, so for this next look, I'm a little unsure of what I want to do. I kind of am thinking maybe do like some type of graphic liner. Um, these are going to be the shades we're working with. We're going to be working with Starfish, and we're going to be working with uh, Moon Moth. So let's see. Look, you can see, guys, these were the two liquid lipsticks that I swatched on the back. They don't want to come off. So these ha definitely have some good stain power. Um, this first shade I'm going to swatch is called Star. And this is like a pink to gold reflect to it. And then the next shade is going to be uh, Moon. So these will coordinate. This is Moon over here. This, these will coordinate really well with one another. So I think I'll start with Moon. And I did apply more um, eyeshadow primer. Keep in mind, I'm not a, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> like I'm an amateur, like everybody, all of you out there watching me. I am not professionally trained. I just, you know, kind of try, do my best, see what works, see what doesn't. I don't know that that's looking like the swatch. I am using the right, yeah, I'm using Moon. I'm gonna get a little brush and try to clean that up a little bit. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. I think I like these better packed on than to do this type of work with. What do you guys think? I'm going to get a little bit of my Moira base, eyeshadow base, just to kind of clean this up. It's not looking as multidimensional as it does when it's on its own, like all over the lid. You know what I mean? I think a liquid would look better. And we can always try that because I still have uh, two or three of those liquid lipsticks that I haven't tried yet. Um, I think I'm going to do Strawberry Pop. This is one of the lippies. Again, I don't know. I could totally be ruining this. Get my BK210. And I'll clean it up again. Eh, no, guys, I'm not really liking this. I'm not liking the way it's gonna it's turning out. I am, yeah, taking this off. You know, it's just trial and error. And sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. I think these are just gonna be better packed on. They're gonna be better for the lower lash line, the lower water line. But I don't really like them as like graphic liners. I definitely think you need something more of a liquid to do that kind of detail work with. So I'm going to go in with Starfish. And I'm going to apply Starfish all over the lid. Now I'm going to go in with my Refer 13 just to blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with the shade fish right here in the center. You can use your finger to kind of tap it. Now I think I've officially used all of them. I'm going to go back in with Moon Moth. And I'm going to do that down here. I'm taking my BK209 just to kind of smudge. I'm going to pick some of the shade Moth up with the 209 and add it right here. 
I'm also going to add a little bit up here. Yeah, this is just a soft look. If you're not wanting anything too blinding, but you still want to get a little a bit of that multi-chrome effect, then these are going to be for you. Um, how am I going to use these going forward? I'll have to think about that before I give you guys my final thoughts in a few seconds, but um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to add the finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you this third and final look. Okay, so here is the third and final look. I just winged out that black eyeliner. I mean, it's cute. It's a cute look. It was easy to create. These sticks are very user-friendly. Like, it's really, you're going to do the dark shade on the top. Maybe you'll get a little bit of the lighter shade, put it on the back of your hand and get it with your finger and tap it on the center, tap it in the uh, lower or the inner corner. And then you can either do um, the dark or light um, on the lower lash line. They're comfortable in the lower waterline as well. I'm not noticing any irritation or anything. And I managed to use all of them. So now I'm going to remove this lipstick and I'm going to swatch all four of these multi-chrome liquid lipsticks. Okay guys, so I've officially swatched everything in this new Sugar Drizzle collection. The little color combination that I have going on on my lips is the darkest shade which that one is called Burnt Rose. That's what I have underneath. And then on top, I have the shade Strawberry Pop, which is this one right here. I love these. These are so much fun. I mean, what a different take on a traditional lipstick. If you're into funky lipstick colors or you just want something different, you know, I think definitely pick up one or two of the liquid lipsticks. I think this is my favorite thing from this collection just because they're so much fun and they're also versatile because you saw me use them on the eyelids. Um, yeah, I like them. Those are definitely going to be my favorites. As far as the multi-chrome duo sticks, I think that they have a time and a purpose. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be all you need to do your makeup in the morning. A quick look. Dark, uh, dark shadow goes all over the lid, just blend it out with a little blending brush like the Refer 13. And then you also can do the same color for the lower lash line. You can put it in the waterline and then flip it over to the other side and use the white side or the lighter side as an inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight. I don't know about doing graphic lines with these particular liners. I think they're a little too big. They're a little too crayon-like for that. You could get a very small detail brush, but I don't know that you're gonna necessarily get that payoff or that multi-chrome effect that you're looking for just because these are cream and they're not liquid. I think those, those type of graphic liner effects and pictures that you guys see floating all over the internet on Instagram and stuff, I think they look beautiful, but I think a lot of that is achieved with liquid liner. So for me, how am I gonna be using these? Because I have similar products already in my stash. I'm gonna be using these a lot in the waterline. I'll use them a lot as inner corner highlights, as brow bone highlights, and I'll definitely be using them on the lower lash line. Maybe if I'm looking 
routine just to do a quick out the door look nothing that I'm going to be filming that day then maybe I'll use it exactly like I said do the dark on the lid and then the light you know in the inner corner so on and so forth but I don't personally reach for a lot of these to do a eye look with. I'll use them as eyeliner like in the lower waterline or again in the lower lash line but I won't use one just to do my complete makeup look with but that's just me and that's also because I try a lot of makeup. I'm more of an eyeshadow palette type of girl but if you are looking for something that is going to give you like a multi-chrome effect especially in the waterline, then I think these would be great if you're looking for something just to add a pop of um, shimmer uh, in the inner corner, the brow bone, I think these would be great as well. Um, the duos right here, the cream shadow duos, those retail for $12 minus, of course, discount code minus stuff 10. It takes 10% off of your order. And the liquid lipsticks, they retail for $21, of course, less the discount code. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think of this new launch from Sugar Drizzle? Are you going to be picking any of them up? What other ideas do you have for these besides the way that I used them? I would love to hear your thoughts. Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye!